kwenye niwaambie kitu. Unajua sisi kuna kati ambayo tunaisahau sana ambayo ni ile mababu zetu na mababu zetu walikuwa wana, wana wanaifanya kwamba walikuwa na dini zao baada ya sisi kuletewa dini dini ya Kikristo dini ya Kiislamu watu watu wakabadilika wakaingia kwenye hizo dini lakini sisi kama waafrika tuna dini zetu ambazo zile zilitoka kwa mababu na mababu ambao wanaamini na wote mimi naamini kwamba kuna ni Mungu ni mmoja kwa Mkristo kwa Muislamu wote wanaabudu Mungu ni yule yule kwa hiyo sasa hivi uone tuliletewa hizi dini na watu wanatoka sasa hivi nje kwa ajili ya kuja kuzipata zile dini ambazo sisi tuliziona hazifai ndugu yetu hapa amekuja special kwa ajili ya, ku, ya kuzitafuta ile mababu watu ambao wanasema sasa hivi ni uchawi mizimu sasa yeye yuko hapa kwa ajili ya hiyo kuna watu wamini kabisa kama kuna kuna masuala ya ushirikina au nini kwa watu wenzetu ambao wanatoka nje lakini wewe hapa leo atawaonyesha jinsi gani kuna umuhimu wa sisi kuviendeleza vile vitu vyetu ambavyo tulikuwa navyo zamani yuko hapa ana challenge tofauti tofauti kwenye mwili wake tayari shapita kwa waganga na nini Hizi ndo chale kama mnavyoziona kapiga sehemu tofauti tofauti za mwili mwake akanionyesha hapo kwenye mguu ya hapo tumeona mkononi kwenye mguu kwenye kifua pia nazo akafungua akanionyesha hizo kuna zingine kwenye bega lake la kushoto na kulia kocha amechanjwa ame yeah, na na zingine kiunoni akata kunyo actually change a lot of people's lives because as a foreigner coming to look for what they are shying away from they start seeing some value in their own culture they start understanding that as they are chasing the western ways you know with the cars the TVs and everything they have people from the west coming to see their traditional ways so basically I have people inboxing me on WhatsApp almost daily that they are so happy because they have now went back to the tradition they have went to the waganga to 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 get their spiritual works done uh, they are now embracing the tradition and uh, it makes it makes a lot of sense to to embrace the tradition because you know like you said Christianity Islam I I've been married to a Kenyan woman for 12 years. I've been around African people my whole life. I'm around traditional people and I'm around Christians, Muslims. But what I realize is that when I talk to Africans, they are trying sometimes to tell me that you have to do it the Christian way because that's the African way. And you know, that's that's not African way. Yeah. That's a lack of knowledge. There's nothing really African about it. I think it's the matter of like brainwash. There yeah. are some people they don't deep down to know even where they come from, what's going on in their mm. in their past. They just like more in the present, like from their parents to them, like they they were being born like in the yeah. Christianity, um, in Christianity family. Then they they see like that is their way, but they don't know what was the cause to make them to be the the uh, Christianity. So we have like uh, like the people they used to have their the long hair. They used to have tattoos like uh, mm. even in the Macron, they, they were having tattoo in their ways. Like uh, for the woman to look beautiful mm. is to have like tattoo on your face and to have like uh, uh, like a big piercing. I think you saw one. Yeah, like, uh, in the yeah, I saw one yesterday. Mm -hmm. mm. And nowadays it's like you look bad when yeah. you have those things. Even the the woman like uh, you cannot even get married when you have such. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, Before that would be one of the w things they were looking for when they were looking for a wife. And yes. If you would see those tattoos, that would be like a a, a good good sign mm -hmm. to take a wife like that. So yeah, Makonda actually keep a lot of the culture uh, like the spirituality, but mm -hmm. it's kind of. Um, it's kind of like a parallel society, different to many places in Tanzania and Kenya where the Wagangas is actually being chastised and uh, seen as witches and bad things. Yeah. I see here that they are more part of the society, but still it's the, the colonialism way of living that is the way people have to <laughs> move about. So yes, 
Christianity, Islam, uh, especially Christianity in Africa, is something that came with the missionaries. The missionary activity was kind of part of the colonial activity. And uh, for me, the way I see it, it's been a big scheme since the time of colonialism. It's been sowing seeds in the minds of people uh, to make people generation by generation lose their own spirituality, their own tradition. And why, why did the Europeans do this? Uh, first of all, us in Europe, we were brainwashed ourselves because we thought that Africa was a place where uh, devil was living because the same propaganda came to us that was later taken to Africa. But the way, I, yeah. And on the on the same way, here it was like uh, different. Like they show the the good stuff and everything. Mm. They are in Europe. Mm. Like I've been growing up uh, with the people. They have the mind like uh, the good life and everything is up is there in mm. Europe. But why? Because they have TV. Mm. They like uh, cancel them to go and sit like on the on the trees mm. and they introduce the education and the, that way. So yeah. it was like uh, they watch in the in the TV, and all they saw that they see in the TV, like the movies and everything, it shows only the good part of uh, Western life. Of course. Yeah. Of course. And then here, like when you watch uh, stuff from uh, Africa, it's a bad thing. Exactly, and you know, in uh, places like Norway, I think we have like seventy percent divorce rates. Divorce is being promoted and a lot of things, you know, we don't have the family structure. Uh, there's usually two parents, both are working and they both have to take care of the children. Yeah. Being tired, you know, not having time for the children. It's a lot of things that somebody like me that has seen both sides, I actually envy in African traditional ways. Mm. But we also see that Africans in general is being more and more drowned into the, to the European ways. So divorce rate is rising, um, lifestyle sicknesses is rising. There's a lot yeah. of things that is having the opposite uh, effect of what people might believe when they see the glorification of, of Western society. But when you, when you see some people, like when I went in Rwanda, I visited some of the Mgangas for the pygmies, the, the shamans, or what you call Mgangas, uh, mm -hmm. for the pygmies. And they were telling me like they were offered uh, TVs, they were offered uh, cars because they did a good job. People were really getting the help they needed from them. Even a mattress, the Mganga would refuse to take a mattress because he wanted to sleep how his grand, uh, grandparents, his ancestors were sleeping on a little goat skin or cow skin on a wooden bed almost on the floor. We have the same like that with Sukuma. With the Sukuma, they, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They, uh, they prefer to sleep on the like on the and the cow skin, mm. but then they have a, we could say they, they are leeches because they have a lot of cow when they sell them is mm. millions of money. But they see to be lit for them is mm. like to have a, a, a big amount of cattle. Okay. Yeah. So it's like uh, when you tell him to sell one just to, be, to buy the bed, he still like the bed is nothing. He's comfortable mm. on his skin. But the other people they look him as a stupid. Yeah. And this is the thing that uh, come up and change. Like after people get education, mm. like uh, yeah, this the modern way of educate, education. Yeah. And then they come back to their uh, like glands. Mm. and to tell them like don't do this don't do mm. this this is bad this is no don't sleep on the on the on the cow skin or blah 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 you need to uh to have like a proper house and everything mm. yeah so in sukuma it's still there like it's in Dipa, there. yeah in Dipa school okay mm. okay the sukuma has a very interesting culture it's, uh, i haven't gone that deep into it mm -hmm. but i've been in wansa yeah. I visited the culture center there and uh, yeah, Sukuma still has initiation mm -hmm. and things that keeps uh, the culture alive. Yeah, we have this like Mwana Marundi, he's yeah. from Sukuma. He has there uh, in a, a very beginning history. He was on the way back like, uh, like so many years ago. He was there in the I think it's in the Alcora region. He was there. So he could do things like uh, spirituality. Mm. Like the people, they don't believe. 
but up to now they are still his feet print on the top of the lock like which is not an unusual thing like for the uh just a normal human being when you step your leg on the stone and then you leave your footprint yeah. but it's still there for him and the people they go there and, uh, and see it mm. yeah in Sukuma. we have a place in kenya too yeah in uh, lake nyanza lake victoria is the colonial way of saying it yeah. um, it's called namguantu and uh, it's the same it was a woman a man find a woman like on the beach yeah. she was trapped in a fishnet she was i don't know kind of like a mermaid or something mm. he took yeah. her home he married her and good things started coming to him cattle you know goats yeah. riches whatever so he started to take more wives because you know mm. wealth brings more wives if you want that and uh, he started neglecting the woman mm. and then the woman was angry so she went back into the water, the lake, and all the cattle, all the riches followed her. And I've never been there, but they say that the footprints are still there. Still after there. Those, uh... yeah. But what, one thing I find interesting about the Sukuma yeah. is... Sukuma is one of the few societies or tribes that have kept uh, initiations in Tanzania. An initiation, that's a very powerful thing because it's... Uh, something secret that um, people participate in and give them a very strong bond yeah. so what we see with the um, with the Lu, the Jalu people who came down from first from Egypt and then down the Nile then down to South Sudan into Kenya then walked further into Mwansa they were like warrior tribe that was really conquering territories and taking over but the Sukuma people is the ones who stopped them they could not get through the Sukuma. Yeah. So I think that's connected with the initiation and everything like that. So, I mean, without without the culture, without the tradition, what's what what's really there? We are useless without. Uh, you see, things. us in Europe, we lost this thing too, long, long, long time ago, a thousand years ago. We had also our own traditions, our own spirituality. Mm. But it's the same forces that came to us then that yeah. came to Africa later. Mm -hmm. It's been going on for a long time. Yeah. I think it's better now like for people to prevent it, not to uh, to destroy it more. It's like to to keep it like that small that we still have it should uh, it should help. Yeah and especially okay we can look at the Makondo sculptures, we can look at what is being lost of the, the visual, that's important. But the most important is the spiritual, because in Africa, as well as in Europe way before, we've been brainwashed to cut contact with our ancestors. We've been told that, uh, you know, that's not the right way. So our ancestors are inside of us. They are guiding us. We need them. They need us. Without them, we are vulnerable. We are very vulnerable. So I see that traveling around in Kenya. I see that tribes like Akamba that has kept more of their spirituality, they are now prospering, less diseases, uh, better harvest and, you know, things like that. While tribes that has cut almost all contact with their ancestors, with their spirituality, they are suffering from a lot of sickness and problems, accidents, too many bad things are happening. Mm. And it's clear, even the Maasai, you can see that those they are prosperous. They have yeah. cows, they go to Zanzibar maybe, mm. maybe another place, they go and they are guards, you know, like a watchman. They make a lot yeah. of money from that. Yeah, they and come they home. Buy more yeah. cows. They are healthy, they live, they live good, their own way. Yeah, so. we have like traditional, you know, traditional medicine in this part. And people, nowadays, they don't believe in them. Mm. Yeah. They prefer more to use like the um, is it chemistry? Like how yeah, Western from medicine the, from, the hospital. from the hospital. So they prefer more those ones than this one, which it has been used from generation to generation. Mm. And I still, I still use like now you can see like neem. We have yeah, neem, neem here, mm. and I use, I prefer to use uh, neem. And now it's like uh, 
I have like uh, 14 years without being in a in a hospital like uh, yeah. like serious sick or using the the medicine apart from using this. Because Nim is good against malaria too. Right? Yeah, 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 against mm. malaria and and it has like uh, 40. They say like 40 diseases and yeah. get uh, cured. Okay, outside. that's the strange thing really because. Yeah when reading anthropological works and you know articles it's always like a twist that the um, traditional medicine is not really working mm -hmm. but from being around now i've been two months but all in all a couple of years in different yeah. places west africa uh, east africa i talk to people and i see it, i see that a lot of people are being treated mm. successfully by traditional medicine, by the wagangas, yeah. so it's a different impression you get from, from uh, you know, the academic studies than you get from really being around and seeing what's yeah. going on. So even Western medicine comes from indigenous world medicine, like when I visited the pygmies in Rwanda, they were yeah. growing uh, paracetamol. Plants. Mm -hmm. Iodine, I've seen iodine in Zanzibar. Of so, course. but the people they prefer the one which is already like yeah, chemical they synthesize it and they isolate the, the um, active property because the Western way of thinking is that only the active property within a plant is the one you can use for medicine. But they don't understand that the plant is an intelligent being. It, it is there for a reason so yeah. the other components within a plant also mm. has equalizing effects to balance what you are taking and to minimize the the side effects mm. that's why western medicine is always full of side effects because they kind of take just a part of it and then they mix it with something else instead of doing the way it was naturally created. So. Yeah, and I think it's uh, it's more like it's the company, like yeah. to get uh, money out of the it. Patent. Yeah, because mm. we have uh, we have like uh, yeah we have been growing up in the area like malaria is there, and then we have like after some years, then they come to tell us we are using like a type of uh, medicine which is like uh, all over like the old Tanzania. Mm. They say this is the better one for for the malaria. And then after some years, then they come like, uh, don't take this medicine anymore. And then they, yeah, uh, uh, they present a new kind of medicine. Yeah. So for me, I feel it's more like the competition between companies. Because when, when the, the new company is winning, then they get money out mm. of that. Yeah. So it's more like uh, they have to even to to kill uh, to kill the like natural natural medicine so that the people they don't believe it anymore it's cured so that they buy because for this one you just get it free mm. you just go in the in the forest you cut then you can't drink it but for this uh, like uh, the one that you need to buy in the in the farmers and everything so it's always like changing this one is uh, being allowed this one is not so it's, yeah. Come up with more like uh, about uh, money. <laughs> Mm. You here for vacation? Uh, yes. Family? No, I'm alone here. You traveled alone to here? Yes. Okay. How did you find this area? Are you just going step by step? Um, Get the change. Yes. <laughs> 